Greetings, Sonny James from Serato here in LA once again. One of the features that helps me at every event I DJ is being able to sort by BPM and key. This allows me to organize the songs in my crates from slowest to fastest and mix songs that are in a similar key without having to rack my brain. First off, track analysis is a free function, but it's only available in practice mode. So make sure you're not plugged into hardware, and when you have the application open, you will notice the button that says Analyze Files. This is an important button to familiarize yourself with as it prepares waveform overviews, detects possible corrupt files, and if you have the option selected, can calculate BPM and set a beat grid as well as detect the key of the songs in your library. Once you press the Analyze Files button, Serato DJ Pro will automatically start analyzing any files that haven't been analyzed yet. But let's check the settings for analysis first. I'm going to check the box for setting the key as well as the box for setting the beat grid. If you'd like, you can set a target BPM range for the tracks you're analyzing. If for some reason I want to analyze or reanalyze my entire library, there's a button for that as well. So now that I have the settings the way I like them, I want to make sure the key is displayed in one of the columns showing in my library. I can accomplish this by clicking the arrow here and making sure key is selected as viewable. I usually drag it here so it appears next to my BPM column, but you can place it wherever you want. Now, I can either click the Analyze Files button or drag only the song or songs I want to be analyzed onto the button. There are four different ways of displaying the key in your songs. Let's check them out by going to the Settings menu here. Then, we'll click on the Library and Display tab. And under Display, let's click Show Key As. The first option is Camelot. This is my favorite. There are also the options of Classical Key, Open Key, and Original Tag. It's great having the option to view classical keys if you understand notation and how the keys work together. Options like Open Key and Camelot give us the ability to easily mix tracks together that are relative based on the number and letter combinations. For instance, when viewing the key as Camelot, a song in 2A will generally mix well sonically with tracks that are also in 2A, but also tracks that are in 1A and those that are in 3A. When in doubt, you can reference this diagram that quickly breaks down how each number-letter combo corresponds to the classical key, and which key are harmonically close enough to match when mixing them together. If you have Pitch and Time active, you can quickly transpose the key of any track that's playing by clicking the arrows here to go up or down a semitone. There will also be the option to use Key Sync. This works similarly to the BPM Sync function which means when you click the musical note here, it will sync your second track's key to the key of the track that's currently playing. Now that I've analyzed the tracks I want to play, I'll plug my device in and start to mix based on the new key info and BPM analysis. This metadata will remain on the tracks and be visible whenever you open Serato DJ Pro again. So that's a quick overview on using key analysis in Serato DJ Pro. Having that extra information associated with each of my tracks definitely makes my life a lot more manageable when I open the program. There's so many useful ways to incorporate key information in your library, and as always, you can visit serato.com for more information.